I cast this spell to call you in. The aimlessness is gone. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Award Travel 101 Live. I'm your founder, Richard Kerr, and uh, it's been too long since we've done this, man. I've been on the road back and forth, left and right, north and south, east and west, and I'm glad to be back in my home office, ready to talk about the winning card combinations you need. Let's do a few housekeeping items, a little bit of business we do every single time. Hey, in the background tonight, I've got Rachel Berkey moderating making sure everything goes well from the user experience she's also going to be taking all of your questions throughout the night so don't be worried if uh, you ask a question I don't get to it I, I am well aware of uh, everything that's ever being asked and I'm going to come back to it later in the show please let me know where you're tuning in from I love to see the reach of uh, everybody tuning into a war travel 101 live I just typed that in the comments and said hey let me know where you're tuning in from and somebody said why <laughs> that, that was funny um, because I want to know where everybody's tuning in from. Before I do that, though, I've got um, one really important piece of business um, that we need to take care of. So I want to make sure that uh, we get this right. I need everybody's input. Let me see if I can get this going here. Somebody tell me. Oh, it's still loading. Dead gimmick. When you get the uh, live stream going, everything's uh, slowing down. All right, we'll mess with that later. That's fine. Hey, a lot of events coming up. Um, a lot going on. First, I cannot believe it's already Memorial Day. Um, Vegas. I'm going to be there for the entire weekend with our moderator, Howie Rappaport. Uh, this is at Zortfest, Treasure Island Casino on the Strip. They're taking the best of the casino comps, the people who know how to work the tables, the people who know how to do incredible things that I've been reading about and get to know them a little bit about before next weekend. Rachel's going to share it in the links. As always, you can go to the events tab on uh, the group, Zortfest. Use code Zork Award Travel 101 for $10 off your ticket. Um, I'm having dinner and doing a charity craps tournament on Friday night. I'm speaking twice on Saturday. We're doing the Award Travel 101 Boot Camp on Sunday. If you just want to come to the boot camp and hang out, that's fine. If you don't know what a Chase Ultimate Reward is, if you don't know what all of these crazy acronyms we're using are, you need to be there on Sunday. Three-hour intensive boot camp that Howie and I are um, teaching. Again, just click the events tab, Zorkfest, come out, hang out with us in Vegas for Memorial Day weekend. Really excited about that. Just a couple weeks after that, Frequent Traveler University in Manhattan, right in the middle of the city. I'm speaking on Saturday and Sunday, this is June 9th and 10th. I'm actually going to be in Denver the day before, taking a red eye from an event in Denver over to New York City. I'm going to speak, I'm going to crash, I'm going to drink bourbon, I'm going to crash, I'm going to speak again, I'm going to get it on an airplane. That is the current plan. Rachel, please put that uh, event link up there. Again, if you don't see the links, just click on the events tab in the Award Travel 101 group, and all the information you need is going to be there. We just redid our pinned announcement. I really like the way it looks. I think it's a lot uh, more user-friendly. I haven't gotten any feedback yet, so please, guys and gals, ladies and gents, tell me what you think about our new graphics up there. It's got the group rules. It's got our credit card links. It's got how to get a post approved, and it has our master threads and frequently asked questions. Tell me right now in the comments. Say this is the greatest thing ever. I can get the info I need, or I still don't get it. Um, what are you trying to do here? Let us know how that pinned announcement right at the top of the group works with the four different graphics. All right, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Berkey, please uh, put that link up there. And um, last but not least, we are back with the bourbon and my sweet copper mugs. A little bit of Elmer T. Lee on the rocks tonight. We flew in from Charleston, South Carolina this morning, and uh, it's really good to have a glass of bourbon and talk to Award Travel 101 Live. Kelly says my pinned announcement is confusing. There's a glossary. Kelly, click on the beginner's guide in the uh, frequently asked questions. In the beginner's guide, you're going to find a link to a glossary with all of those acronyms. But please send me a message later about telling me why it's even more confusing. All right, let's get to the good stuff. It's going to be short and sweet tonight. I want to give the information you need quickly. And as always, this video will be available for replay so you can take studious notes later on our YouTube channel. Hey, the winning car combination you need. 
How many times do you think myself and the moderator team have been asked, what card do I get next? What credit card do you have? I have this card. What card do I get next? Hey, we get asked all the time, all day, every day. I know it's the most important question. You think it is at least. Hey, Berkey, thanks for that glossary. And uh, I want to lay out some very simple card combinations you need to have in order to maximize your daily, weekly, and monthly expenses. Okay? I'm not going to get into the complicated, complex, amazing cards like the Bank of America, Asiana, or the Synchrony Bank, Cathay Pacific. That's for another day, another time. We're going to talk the basic combinations two, three, four cards you need in your wallet in order to be successful at a war travel. Get that one trip a year. Get those two trips a year. You don't have to go crazy. You don't have to be like me. You don't have to carry a wallet around this thick, right? You just want to be strategic and manage your daily expenses and put them on the right card. So I've got some information to put out first. Um, Berkey's going to put them in the comments of this video, the links to the information. We're also going to put them in the comments section and description of the YouTube video, so don't worry. You're going to be able to find it first. If you're just starting, if you're a beginner, you need to understand how to apply for multiple credit cards, and you need to understand, more importantly, the limitations banks are now putting on you in order to get these cards. Okay, so um, you need to be very... You're going to keep hear me say that word tonight, strategic. you got to be strategic about this because you got to maximize one bank's rules before you move on to another bank. You need to lay out the banks that you're going to go in order, and you need to understand these rules. So we got a great blog post over at the Award Wallet blog. Berkey just put it, Understanding Card Application Rules. It goes bank by bank, and it says, hey, you can get um, two cards in 24 months. You can get the sign-up bonus every 24 months. You can only get the sign-up bonus once in a lifetime. Um, these banks pull from this uh, credit reporting bureau a lot of great information you need to soak and understand and reading this if you're just beginning and starting with this should make you go and read three or four more things War Travel 101 is a marathon it's not a sprint if you want to jump in for a week try and get a bunch of free flights and hotels you're just gonna mess yourself up you're gonna potentially mess your credit up and you're gonna cut off opportunities for yourself in the future so read and digest this information after that we have the now famous or infamous each way you want to say it chase 524 rule I still get questions about this every single day how does chase 524 work we got a great blog post over there all about how does the chase 524 policy work this is why you need to start most likely with getting chase cards so that you can maximize the five cards that they allow you to open in 24 months across all banks. Okay, a lot of information there. Make sure you read it. And then finally, you're going to hear me talk about small business credit cards tonight just a couple of times. But you need to understand what it takes to actually qualify for a small business credit card. You need a legitimate business or sole proprietorship, and you need to be able to back that up with the proper documentation. Okay, still far too many people out there in forums and Facebook groups telling you yeah just apply for a small business card it doesn't matter well banks are auditing these things banks are gonna come back and ask you for some of this documentation when you apply most likely and you need to be able to have a legitimate small business to earn these cards so when you hear me talk about small business cards tonight make sure you read the article Berkey's putting up now from the award wallet blog how you can get a small business credit card you need to qualify okay so be careful above all this is all about protecting your credit score after your social security number probably the most important number to any US resident um, or American living abroad and you don't want to do anything to risk that number okay so read those uh, information ask a lot of questions I did this on purpose we have bourbon and Q&A right after this at 9 o'clock I'm gonna sit here for an hour and answer your questions while I drink bourbon so I want you to have a lot of questions from these articles alright so what I'm gonna talk about are card combinations in your wallet that you carry every day to maximize your groceries, to maximize your utility bills, to maximize um, your fuel spend, and then all those other things you have to pay for that aren't a particular bonus category. You can have one of these combinations, you can have multiple of these combinations. If you're gonna do it, make sure you go back and read that post that Berkey just put up about understanding card application rules so that you don't get yourself in trouble, you don't potentially uh, appear to be not a long-term profitable customer to banks okay if you go too aggressive at this today you're gonna get in trouble you still want to have points and miles in 20 years you don't have to see the entire world this year in 2018 take it slow my friends okay let's start with the first bank you need to maximize which is chase because of that chase 524 rule uh, that 
uh, I was just talking about and referring to. All right, so we call it the Chase Trifecta. Here, in my opinion, are the cards you need to have. You need to have either a Chase Sapphire Reserve or a Chase Sapphire Preferred. Um, Berkey, can you find that link about why I think the Chase Sapphire Preferred is the best card for beginners on the Award Wallet blog and put it up there? On top of the Reserve or the Preferred, remember you can no longer have both of those cards. You need to have a Freedom or Freedom Unlimited. You can still have both of those cards. Um, but you need to pick, depending on your spending patterns, about whether you can maximize those quarterly freedom bonuses or whether a majority of your spend is on the Freedom Unlimited, which earns one and a half ultimate rewards per dollar all day, every day with no cap, okay? So on top of the Sapphire Preferred or Reserve, on top of the Freedom or Freedom Unlimited, you need to have a Chase Inc. Preferred, Chase Inc. Plus, which is not available for new signups, or the Chase Inc. Cash Card. Those are small business cards, so again, you have to be able to legitimately qualify for a small business card. If you have that Chase Trifecta, you're going to be able to maximize every single dollar you spend and over time accomplish award travel. All right, so that's the earning. Once you got those points, it's time to put the hard work and study in and learn how to maximize those points. Okay, so the decision about Chase Sapphire Reserve versus Preferred, again, we have a great blog post over on the Award Wallet blog. Burke, if you can find that one that tells you which one um, you should apply for, the Chase Sapphire Reserve, $450 annual free fee, three times points on travel but you do get a whole lot back in return for that annual fee if you're just starting out if you only travel once a year if you got that one vacation you're planning for the next couple years I think the Chase Sapphire um, preferred makes sense for you over the reserve you don't need all of those extra women on things the sign up bonus is the same at 50,000 points okay please go in and do the math so the first one the Chase trifecta if you've got a reserve if you got a freedom unlimited if you have a Chase Inc card of any of the flavors you're gonna be able to maximize and get big points and uh, you're going to be happy with life, okay? Overall warning for Chase. We've seen it time and time again right now. If you go at it too hard, you're going to get in trouble with Chase. If you have these Chase cards, if you're sitting good, if you're sitting pretty, just leave Chase alone. Yeah, you want the Hyatt card. Yeah, you want the new Marriott card. Yeah, you want a second ink. Yeah, you want the Iberia card. Look, just don't give yourself an invitation to be looked at, okay? Play it smart. Play it safe. Be a long-term profitable customer for Chase. Make the bank happy that's giving you all these rewards. And just slow down, okay? Slow down. Don't go fast. Slow down. Hey, Berkey's got some good information up there. Uh, I'm going to take a couple questions that Berkey's got up for me. You're going to see me look off to the side at my notes. I don't have a weird twitch or anything. I'm just looking at my notes. Um, Andrea says, if you don't have a business, what would be the third chase card you would recommend instead of the ink? Yep, great question. Freedom and a Freedom Unlimited. So like a Chase Sapphire Preferred and a Freedom and a Freedom Unlimited. After that, uh, you need to look at maximizing an Avios card, either Iberia or British Airways. Or go ahead and maximizing uh, the IHG or the Hyatt card for the annual free night certificates they, they offer just for uh, re-upping the cards. So ISG no longer any hotel, but up to 40,000 points per year. And then you got a Hyatt Category 1 to 4 uh, certificate that comes um, every year just for renewing the card. Okay, so that would be my uh, recommendation to you, Andrea. All right, let's move on to American Express. So you maximize your Chase 524. You got some big expenses coming up. Uh, you're looking over at American Express because you want to diversify your award portfolio. Perfectly great. Okay, here are the cards I recommend you have to maximize those everyday transactions. First, an Amex Platinum card. If you're a routine to um, heavy traveler, an Amex Platinum card makes sense for lounge access. It makes sense for five times points on travel. It makes sense for the $200 travel credits. It makes sense for the Uber credit. Um, and there are a lot of different varieties that you can take advantage of. My personal favorite that is the unsung hero of the Platinum card family is the Amex Platinum Schwab card. Why? Because you can redeem Amex points at 1.25 cents each towards cash into a Schwab account, okay? That can be a lot of money. 1.25 is equivalent to Chase Sapphire Preferred, and instead of just taking one cent towards cash like most of these rewards do, you get another 25% on top of all of these great Amex Platinum benefits. So, take a look at an Amex Platinum card. Second card, Amex Everyday Preferred. This really maximizes your day-to-day -day spend, okay? Three times points at supermarkets, two times points on gas, one times points on everything else. Here's the kicker. You use it 30 times in a month. You get 50% bonus points on all of those transactions. That kicks it up to 4.5x at supermarkets, 3x at gas stations, 
1.5x on everything else. That is a lot of American Express points for your daily spend, and I use this card for absolutely everything um, right now that um, I can because 1.5x on everything. I got my 35% rebate from the Business Platinum card, which is something to look at if you can qualify for instead of the Amex Platinum, the Business Platinum, 35% pay with points rebates on plane tickets. So $100 plane tickets only going to cost you 6,500 points. If I'm earning those points at 4.5x, 3x, 1.5x, I can very quickly earn myself some travel credit. So the Amex Everyday Preferred card is a wonderful card. On top of the Platinum card, on top of the Amex Everyday Preferred, here's where I think you need to pick a hotel or airline card. If you live in Atlanta, hi, I live in Atlanta. I have to fly Delta. Am I happy about it? Not particularly. Do I try and maximize it? Yes, you can get a Delta co-branded credit card, 70,000 Sky Miles. You can get some bonus MQMs, medallion qualifying miles if you get one of the higher tier cards. You get higher on the upgrade list if you get a reserve card. You can get the free check bag. Makes sense for some people. If not, look at the Hilton card. A lot of people like Hiltons. They got some new limited time offers out today. 125,000 points for the Hilton business card. 100,000 points for the other cards. Uh, elite status, spin your way to diamond status. Um, the Hilton Aspire card actually has some airline credits as well. Really good to look at for your third card. SPG card, ah, I'm really not a fan of what they're doing. Come August 1st with the devaluation. 33% less points on everyday non-bonus spend. It would be hard for me to recommend you sign up for that. However, you can still make use of it for the next two months. Okay, so Amex Platinum, Amex Everyday Preferred. Pick your airline or your hotel card. That's the Amex trifecta, if you will. On top of that little bonus card, the Blue Business Plus card from American Express earns two times points on all spend every day up to $50,000 a year. Oh, that's delicious bourbon. And if you can qualify for a business card, I think the Blue Business Plus has got to be there. 2x points, all spin. Absolutely lovely. All right, so that's American Express. You got any American Express questions, throw them in the comments right now. I'll make sure to get to them. And we're going to move on to City. So, I got a lot of problems with City. I got a lot of problems. I feel like airing of the grievances for my Seinfeld fans. I want to air the grievances. I got a lot of problems with Hugh City. Mainly, no sign-up bonus for uh, high annual fee cards. Continually devaluing the cards. Prestige, hi, I just canceled you because of your year and a half to two years of devaluations. However, I do like thank you points. They got some unique transfer partners I'd like to take advantage of. Avianca Life Miles, Cafe Pacific, uh, a few other things in there. And I want to have them. So here is the City Trifecta. City Prestige. Fourth night free. If you stay in hotels four nights and you want the fourth night free, great card. Go get your annual fee back 25 times. I rarely stay in a hotel for four nights in a row. doesn't make sense for me. Incredible uh, travel protection, except if your connecting flight is delayed and then they don't honor that anymore. Get out of here. But besides that, three-hour delay, City Prestige is going to kick in some benefits. Really good travel protection there. It can make sense, right? And then you got some bonus points on travel as well. So City Prestige. Wait until there's a sign-up bonus. It was 75000 last year. Now it's nothing right now. Boo. Don't know why they do it. Hope they bring it back. After that, the City Thank You Premier. Three times points on travel, including gas, right? A lot of people. 3x points on gas. Thank you points. Transferable points. Redeem these points at $0.02 cents each. At 6% back in your gas expenses. Pretty good, in my opinion. Well worth having the card. Uh, some other bonus categories as well. And then finally, the City AT&T Access More card. You cannot sign up for this card as a new sign-up. What you have to do is product transfer a card. So what's so great about the City AT&T Access More card? Three, per, three points per dollar on the majority of online spending. Is it user-friendly? No. Do they make it easy for you to figure out what sites are going to earn 3x? No. Have I earned... A lot of points with online shopping with this card, yes. Okay, so City Prestige, not a winner for me. I know many of you love it. That's fine. I get it. Good for you. City Thank You Premier, a lot of points, everyday spend, 2X, 3X categories, $95 annual fee, more per, um, thank you points. City AT&T Access More, you got a product change to it, but three times on the majority of online spend, that's a lot of points. Here's the big asterisk. That's my asterisk hand sign, asterisk. You gotta understand the rules of signing up for thank you cards so that you get the bonus. Go back to the beginning of the comments. Berkey put uh, a link to the award wallet blog about credit card application rules by banks. You're gonna read all about the 24 month rule for city cards. 
this is why you got to study this stuff. You cannot just go and sign up for credit cards. You got to put your homework in so that you don't miss out on these sign up bonuses. Go and study it. All right, so that's City Prestige. Thank you, Premier City AT and T. Access more. Cashback cards is the final category of the night because it's already been 20 minutes. I'm going to talk about a few cards for non-bonus spin. If the points and miles thing is not your deal, if it's not your party, if it's too confusing, if you're a busy professional, a busy dad, a busy mom, and you got two kids under three, hi, like me, and you just don't have time to figure out the points and miles and you want cash back, here's what you need to have. First, Bank of America Premium Rewards Card. If you qualify for the Platinum Honors tier of Bank of America, and my actual next column on the points guy is all about why people need to stop overlooking this program, you qualify for 2.625% cash back on all spend every day. That's almost 3% back on all spend, not including the bonus categories of some of these cards. That is a lot of cash back for your everyday spend. If you just want to swipe your card and be done with it and look at your cash pile up, Bank of America Premium Rewards Card there you go look at it discover it three percent back on the first year 1.5 percent cash back on all spend and then they match it after the first year that's three percent cash back this is as high as it gets right now for all spend three percent discover it card there's also a discover it miles card there's another discover it that has five percent rotating categories which they also match so that equals ten percent cash back just go and research the discover it cards make sure you get the variety that you're after best part bet no annual fee pretty great for that kind of cash back Capital One Spark card. This is a business card. 2% cash back on all spend. I think the annual fee is $59 a year. Don't quote me on that. But uh, what's big about that right now? $1,000 sign up bonus. Spend $10,000 in uh, either three or five months, get $1,000 cash. Big sign up bonus, 2% after that. If, if you got a complicated life, you don't want complicated rewards, take a look at the Capital One Spark card for your small business or sole proprietorship. And the last cashback card that you may have not heard about, but I hope you have, is the Alliant Credit Union 3% cashback on all spend for the first year. And then after that, it drops down to 2.5% on all spend. So 3% cashback, you can do a lot with that. 2.5% after that, annual fee, $59. Alliant, A-L-L-I-A-N-T, Credit Union. Great credit card to have if you want all that cash. If you don't want 1.5 M, uh, ultimate rewards from the Freedom Unlimited, you'd rather have 3% cash back. There's four different cards for you to take a look at right there. Bank of America Premium Rewards, Discover It, Capital One Spark. That's a business card. You need a business. Alliant Credit Union. Hey, fact of the day. If you apply for a Capital One business card, it is going to show up on your personal report, which adds to your 524 score. Unusual because most business cards do not add to your 524 standing, but the Capital One business cards do. All right, there you go. That's cashback. So we went through Chase, we went through MX, we went through City, and we went through cashback. If you have any combination of these cards and you put your monthly spend on it and you pay it off just like it was a debit card, you're going to get plane tickets for 99% off. You're going to get free hotel rooms. That's just the way it works. Don't pay interest, okay? Great. Let's go through a few questions that Berkey's got here. Um, let's see. How many business cards in four months is too many across all issuers? That is... Let's go on a little tangent here, if you will. I do not like answering specific questions like this for a number of reasons. The first is, if I tell you something and it's wrong, you get really mad and you don't like a war travel one-on-one. -on -one. Perfectly understandable, but uh, that's just the way it is. The second is the rules are very flexible right now. The rules are very opaque right now. And sometimes the best answer is just, I don't know. All right. The third reason is everybody's situation is so personalized. If you've got a business that's doing $5 million a month and I've got a business that's doing $5,000 a month, how many business cards in four months is too many is a very different answer. Okay. So I'd have to ask you 20 follow up questions to this. What I can tell you is to take it slow. If you're looking at more than three business cards in four months for your one business and that's probably too many, that would be my guideline, right? Let's, it's a it's a marathon, okay? So a couple cards, pick it up, and then after that, just play it slow, play it easy. All right. So I think Deb, hey Deb, good to see you. Our newest moderator for War Travel One is taking care of that question. Um, Berkey, what else you got for me? Watch you picks up the last couple questions and tells me notes about how funny I look tonight and how tired I am, which is very true. I don't. I didn't sleep good in Charleston where I was last week. The bourbon's good. Look, 
next weekend, Memorial Day, we're going to be in Vegas. You need to come hang with us. You need to go to Zork Fest, click the events tab in the group, and get your ticket, Zork or Travel 101 for $10 off. Two weeks later, Manhattan, Frequent Traveler University. We're going to be there. Before that, I've got an event with Frontier Airlines out in Denver. In September and looking beyond, we've got deals with Shell. Hey, we just figured out how to triple dip on gas rewards. Stay tuned to the group this week so I can tell you how to save three times when buying gas on top of these cards I just talked about. Uh, partnerships coming down the road. We've got some cool stuff with Facebook that's going to be launching in just two weeks. Hey, Kelly's going to be in Vegas. Looking forward to meeting you. Um, we just have so much going on. The group's growing. Things are great. The bourbon's good. The gummies are flowing, and I'm excited about it. Remember, you can always catch a replay of this uh, video on our War Travel 101 YouTube channel. We're getting close to a 1,000 subscribers, so please go and subscribe there. And besides that, 35 minutes bourbon and Q&A, 9 o'clock. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to keep drinking this bourbon. I'm going to answer any questions you have. You have 35 minutes to go and read these articles to research, to prep your questions so that we can help you out. Thanks, as always, to Rachel Berkey working hard in the background to make sure everything's straight. Same time, same place next week. Let me make sure before. I, yep, I'm still going to be here. And uh, I look forward to talking to everybody soon. Thanks a lot.